Good morning, folks. We've got storms, hurricane tracks, climate news, asteroid contact, and a gorgeous geological feature. We are getting started with our star, however, over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours with the northern filament destabilized and collapsing, coronal holes turning through, and one bright spot on the south behind them, which is that active region that is growing, spreading, but is failing to produce large umbra, complex arrangements, or solar flares. It approaches center disk today. Looking next to the solar wind, where speed plateau cracked 700 kilometers per second, but still, KP4s are as much of a disruption as we get. These coronal holes are heading for the far side soon. Earth's magnetic connection should be shifting to the northern trailing portions today. Let's go to satellites and see that knuckleball of a low chugging eastward across the states. And while the tornado warnings flew and one may have dropped in Iowa, we're focusing today on the strongest storms on the planet. Hawaii first with GFS and Euro models side by side. While they do not agree on exact track or timeline, they do both show a westward and then northward shift, with one model saying the Big Island and Volcano are going to take a direct hit, and the other showing it making landfall near Oahu and Maui. Up next, it's the twin systems in the West Pacific set to take on Japan and Korea. Penumbral lines aside, there's little to be excited about with these. Eyes open residents as the blood echoes are still striking the region as well. Let's go to the global climate report for last month. Every month I show you how the full temperature data set with the blue, colder areas is somehow getting whitewashed in the versions sent to the media. The one with more blue around the oceans is the real one, but if I may go ahead and accept their explanation for that for just a moment, it means that while we were hotter, much hotter than their 1880 numbers, the last 40 years of data shows much more cold, meaning the crest in temperature has occurred. Again, just taking their starting position. Up next, asteroid Bennu, half a kilometer wide and the target of NASA's mission to return samples to Earth. Great article linked on the reasons for going and the coolest aspects of the mission, including these visualizations you're seeing here. Time up next to ruin electric geologist's morning. Enjoy spending the next few hours trying to piece this one together in your head from Uzbekistan. Good news for your analysis is the potash deposit which should help you find the starting point. Wink. You recall a few weeks ago we saw the Lux team trying to find the signals of dark matter since nobody can find the actual particle. No signal detected by them, and today we're learning that the Xmas team just did the same thing. Once again, no signal of the annual variation, and that's on top of the global no-show of the dark matter particle itself. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.